Harry Emerson Fosdick once said, Democracy is based upon the conviction that there are extraordinary possibilities in ordinary people. As India is bracing up for 2024 general elections, the ECI is taking every possible step to make sure that the festival of democracy is celebrated with peace and enthusiasm. Let us know about the functioning and history of custodian of democracy, the Election Commission of India. The Election Commission was established in accordance with the Constitution on 25th January 1950. Sukumar Sen was the first Chief Election Commissioner of India, serving from 21st March 1950 to 19th December 1958. In 1950, the Commission only had one Chief Election Commissioner. Two additional Commissioners were appointed to the Commission for the first time on 1989, but they had a very short tenure, ending on January 1990. The Election Commissioner's Amendment Act 1989 was adopted on 1st January 1990, which turned the Commission into a multi-member body. A three-member Commission has been in operation since then, and the decisions by the Commission are made by a majority vote. The Election Commission operates under the constitutional provisions outlined in Article 324 to 329 of the Indian Constitution. Article 324 empowers the Commission with the superintendence, direction and control of preparations of electoral rolls and the conduct of elections to the Parliament, State Legislatures and Offices of President and Vice Presidents of India. The Commission is served by its Secretariat located in New Delhi. The Election Commissioners are assisted by Deputy Election Commissioners who are generally IAS officers. They are further assisted by Director Generals, Principal Secretaries and Secretaries. Presently, Rajiv Kumar is heading the ECI as 25th Chief Election Commissioners with Gyanesh Kumar and Sukhvinder Singh Sandhu as Election Commissioners. At the state level, the Election Commission is assisted by Chief Electoral Officer of State who is an IAS Officer or Principal Secretary rank. At the district and constituency level, the district magistrate in their capacity as district election officer, electoral registration officer and returning officers perform election work. Election Commission of India is a permanent constitutional body which ensures that the voice of every citizen is heard and every vote counts. By upholding the principles of transparency, fairness and impartiality, the ECI reinforces the democratic spirit upon which the nation's governance thrives.